Welcome to the episode 10 of AGS Welt's comprehensive series on the EB2 NIW green card process. This is our last episode, but if you have any question that can be helpful for broader audience and can serve the community, feel free to write us. Are you yearning for clarity on the path from application to the USCIS, leading to the realization of your American dream with a coveted green card for you and your family? Step 1. Craft a standout petition letter, build a detailed dossier, and send it to USCIS from abroad, inside the USA, or visit their office in person if you're nearby. For insights into Endeavor, Petition, and Dossier content, refer to our previous episodes. Step 2. Once approved, USCIS forwards your case to NBC, which takes the reins for the next phase. This is particularly pertinent for those opting for consular processing, as those residing at a distance often seek more clarity on the overall process. Our today's content is more for applicants from abroad. Step 3. NBC requests documents, personal and family records, police clearance certificates from countries you've resided in for over 12 months, and a $345 visa fee per person. Form DS-260 is also requisite. Step 4. Post receiving your documents, NBC arranges an appointment at the U.S. Embassy in your home country. Remember, you can't request an appointment on your own. Step 5. Brace for varying waiting times influenced by embassy workload. Step 6. Upon securing an embassy appointment, NBC will guide you to a designated medical facility for necessary tests. Safeguard the sealed results for the embassy. Step 7. Attend the interview alongside your family. Officers scrutinize your submissions and gauge your authenticity. Denials are uncommon unless discrepancies arise in records or information. Step 8. Post-interview, you'll receive an immediate decision. If approved, your passport will be retained and then dispatched with the immigration visa. Step 9. You're granted a six-month window to travel to the U.S. You can apply online for a green card before or after your arrival. Step 10. For those already in the U.S., the change of status process is an option. While it might be protracted, it offers the advantage of appealing a green card denial. This avenue isn't accessible for those pursuing consular processing. Very relevant insights we have gathered through our practice and successful cases. If opt initially for consular processing but later want to go for change of status process from inside US, it is possible. Also, in the process if you change the country of residence you can shift your case from country A to B easily. AGS Welt is fervently dedicated to crafting educational content, empowering you to make well-informed decisions that elevate your quality of life. Our desire is your success, your success keep our batteries charged to work more hard and spread more happiness.